From the front page of the Yonkers Statesman, December 8, 1916. Headline, Teutons Capture. The roundup of Romanians is being continued by the Teutons. The latest German war office statement announces the capture of 8,000 additional prisoners and 26 guns. Apparently, this body of men with artillery had been trapped in western Wallachia by the speedy Teutonic advance, as the statement mentions the capture taking place on the Alt River, a stream long passed by the invaders on their way to Bucharest. The situation north and east of Bucharest following the surrender is not yet clarified by the official reports. Seemingly, the Romanians, and such Russian troops as were aiding, are still retreating northeast rapidly leaving the remainder of southeastern Wallachia in Teutonic hands, and military commentators do not expect the Romanians to make a stand before the line of the Bazal River is reached. Paris today announces the Germans had been driven from the section of trenches on the eastern slope of Hill 304, which they had occupied. In Macedonia, the Bulgarians are violently contesting the Serbian advance east of Monastir. Paris reports heavy counterattacks on the Serbian positions on Wednesday, which it declares were repulsed. Heavy fighting is in progress on the Macedonian front. Three successive counterattacks on the Serbians have been made by the German and Bulgarian troops in the region of Stravina. The French War Office announced that these attacks had been repulsed. Headline, Anti-Suffrage Convention. Mrs. A.M. Dodge, President, makes the keynote speech. In her keynote address opening the National Anti-Suffrage Convention, Mrs. Audra M. Dodge of New York, President of the National Association Opposed to Women's Suffrage, said, quote, in protesting against the imposition of political duties on women, we know we voice the majority of women of the United States. After 65 years of organized effort, women's suffrage is a minority movement. We believe that women have more power in uplifting civilization through the home than man has through his vote. The conservative suffragists have never been able to control the organized emotion and radicalism in their ranks. Under our former government, there is great danger that such an element might cripple wise legislation. I should like to repeat what we call our creed. We anti-suffragists stand for the conservation of the best of American womanhood in all conditions and stations of life, for the preservation of the home, for the retention of the best ideals of preceding generations adapted to the advantages and opportunities given to them under modern conditions. We believe that women, according to their leisure, opportunity, and experience, should take part increasingly in civic and municipal affairs as they always have done in charitable, philanthropic, and educational activities. And we believe that this can be done best by women without the ballot as a nonpartisan body of disinterested workers. Unquote. And that's the news from Yonkers, 100 years ago, today.